There's a song that goes, Welcome to the Hotel California. You can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. That sounds like the religion of peace, Islam, that you can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. Well, you can leave, but there are consequences for leaving Islam. All schools of Islamic jurisprudence declare that whosoever denies the faith of Islam, who turns away from their religion, receives a capital punishment. A religion, there's a reason to it. Yeah? 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 There's a reason why there's a capital punishment. Yeah? 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 Because people like you, little weaklings, leave the uh, religion and cause corruption in the land by spreading it, the capital punishment in Islamic law will be applied to you. You have no doubt, you proud of that. You proud of that. You proud of that. You proud of that. It just backfired on you. You proud of that. You proud of that. You proud of that. And we're proud of that. Yet, yeah? yet, yeah? capital punishment will be applied in an Islamic state. Yet, yeah? yet, yeah? no. This punishment is based upon what Muhammad said and upon what the rightly guided caliphs said as well. And from Sahih Bukhari, Ali burnt some people, and this news reached Ibn Abbas, who said, Had I been in his place, I would not have burnt them, as the prophet said, Don't punish anyone with Allah's punishment. No doubt I would have killed them. For the prophet said, if somebody, a Muslim, discards his religion, kill him. Take it away, Ali Dawa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a reason why there's a capital punishment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because people like you, little weaklings, leave the uh, religion and cause corruption in the land by spreading it, the capital punishment in Islamic law will be applied to you. You have no doubt. You're proud of that. You're proud of that. You're proud of that. You're proud of that. It just backfired on you. You're proud of that. You're proud of that. You're proud of that. And we're proud of that. Yet, yeah? yet, yeah? capital punishment will be applied in an Islamic state. Yet, yeah? yet, yeah? yet, yeah? no, under the Amir, it is done. Yes, and we, you know what? We'll be watching. We'll be watching. Even in this type of danger, Muslims' leaders are sounding the alarm bell that many people are still leaving Islam even with this threat of capital punishment. 24% One of the more shocking things that I have experienced over the course of those years are the number of young boys and girls who have openly declared their apostasy to them. We cannot afford to treat this lightly because the numbers are increasing. And many of these Muslims who are leaving Islam are coming to Christ, Jesus Christ, who died for the sins of mankind. Yes. Jesus loves you. My dear Muslim friends, Jesus' teaching is diametrically opposed to that in the Hadiths and what Muhammad taught. This is what King Jesus taught. Mark chapter 12, verses 30 through 31. Love the Lord God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no greater commandment than these. So Jesus is talking about love. He's talking about loving your neighbor. He's not talking about execution. He's not talking about capital punishment. He is talking about love, loving 
Not only God, but your neighbor. Now, who is your neighbor? Jesus makes it clear in Luke 6, verse 35, that you're not only to love your friends, love your relatives, love your family, but you're supposed to love your enemies and do good to them. Can't you see the stark contrast, my dear Muslim friends, between Jesus, who loves everyone and wants us to love everyone, not to enslave people, not to execute people, but to share the love of God with people and do good to them. This is what King Jesus wants from us. And this King Jesus loves you, dear Muslim. Even though you've rejected him your whole life, Jesus still loves you. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish. Romans 5 verse 8 God shows his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus the King became a man and died on a cross. Yes, he died on a cross. And he took the punishment that was due us because he loved you that much, dear Muslim. This is the only way that you can be reconciled to God. It's not through your works. It's not through the five pillars of faith. It's only through Jesus Christ because he is the only one that got rid, rid of the sin problem, and He is God in the flesh, the only one that can bridge that gap between us and God. So will you trust in Him today? Jesus proved to the world that He was the King, He was the Messiah who loved the world by rising from the dead after He was crucified. And that resurrection proves His message that He is God who loves the world. Now what does he want from you, dear Muslim? He loves you already. He just wants you to love him back. And that begins by repenting of Islam, repenting of your sins, and trusting in Jesus as your Lord and as your Savior. That he died for you and he rose again from the dead the third day. Put your trust in Him, and say, Jesus, I am yours today. And you'll never regret that choice. Dear Muslim, come home today. Trust in Jesus.